Well, my name is William Meaden. I've been a UK equity fund manager for over 30 years now, the last 25 years of which have been with JP Morgan. I'm a UK equity specialist and I've been manager of Claverhouse Investment Trust for just over 10 years, the last five years of which have been with my co-manager Callum Abbott. Well, Claverhouse is, is named after Viscount Claverhouse, who uh, was an 18th century Scottish nobleman, uh, and he was known as Bonnie Dundee. And uh, this trust was originally a Fleming's uh, flagship investment trust, and the Fleming family originated from Dundee. Well, Claverhouse is looking to grow both the capital and the dividend distribution uh, on an annual basis. Callum and I are naturally long-term holders of securities. When we find a company that we like, we want to invest in it for between three to five years. But of course, things very rarely stay the same over a period such as that. The share price will move and the fundamentals of the company may change. Uh, but generally, we, we start off in fairly small increments, buying between 50 to 100 basis points in a security. And as we gain confidence in it or the share price falls, we don't buy at the bottom, we start to increase our holding. And uh, a significant position would be uh, some three to 4% of the portfolio. Uh, I've worked with Callum for over 10 years now. Callum joined as a graduate from Cambridge uh, just over 10 years ago, and he's been co-manager with me on Claver House for just over five years. Uh, I think an important point to make is Callum and I are part of a much broader team. I, I currently head up the core team at JP Morgan, which manages low to medium risk portfolios, of which Claver House is one. And uh, we're also supported by a very broad, a very experienced research team. And those analysts, which are very much specialists in their, in their sectors, give us additional independent insight uh, into securities. And Callum and I rely on their judgment very much before making a final investment decision. Well, the traits we're looking for in a stock are for them to be really good quality, good cash flow, good balance sheets, experienced management, high barriers to entry. Uh, we're looking for companies where the prospects are getting better, so we track earnings revisions from analysts and we're looking for companies that are getting consistent upgrades uh, as opposed to downgrades. Most importantly, we're looking at the valuation of security. I think the lesson of, of, of last year particularly was that what really matters, uh, no matter how good a company, is the price you pay for it initially when you buy it. So the combination of those three factors and how well a company scores in aggregate on those three determines the weighting in the portfolio. Very few companies score well on all three, but if we do find occasionally a company that does, then it will be a very significant part of the portfolio. The most important theme that runs through Claver House at the moment is one of quality. Callum and I want to be invested, particularly with the very tough economic backdrop that we're seeing globally at the moment, is in the highest quality companies. We want to be in those companies that are going to survive this really challenging economic and geopolitical backdrop. As a consequence of that, the vast majority of the portfolio, in fact some 90% of the portfolio currently, is invested in very large companies, FTSE 100 companies. These make up some 90% of the portfolio and uh, they are run by very experienced teams of management, they have seen many economic cycles before and they tend to have the strongest balance sheets. And that, to Callum and I, is very attractive. Uh, because we want to be invested in the very best quality companies. They also pass the value criteria on average because most of them, the FTSE 100, uh, are sitting on very cheap valuations, certainly compared to their international peer group. Well, the economic backdrop clearly is very challenged at the moment. Uh, but two key points to make there, that the, the UK economy is not the UK stock market. You know, many, particularly those larger companies where Claver House is invested, the FTSE 100 companies, are really broadly spread geographically. In fact, on average, approximately 70% of earnings of FTSE 100 companies come from overseas. And so you're getting geographical exposure when you buy uh, FTSE 100 companies. Uh, and secondly, there isn't a very strong correlation, actually, between what economies do and what stock markets do. They tend to move in, in, in quite different beats and quite different cycles. And very often, the best time to buy stocks and shares is when the economy is, is, is really in quite a difficult place as it is now. And it is noteworthy that actually last year, 2022, 
despite a very difficult economic and geopolitical backdrop, the FTSE 100 was actually up on the air. It gave a, a, a small positive return. So it's important to distinguish between the two. Callum and I aren't macroeconomists. We're not predicting, for example, from one month to the next what inflation or what GDP will do. What we're doing is focusing on the individual companies and particularly focusing on those companies that can cope with the very difficult economic backdrop at the moment. The portfolio holds between 60 to 80 securities, so it's quite a focused portfolio. Uh, it's a sort of distillation of our best ideas, but there is geographic and sector diversification within that to make sure uh, that all our eggs effectively aren't in one basket. One of the advantages of investment trusts over open-ended funds is that the trusts have the ability to borrow money to uh, finance new purchases. So we effectively go what's called geared, i.e. for every £100 that's invested up to 115 for example, can be invested in the stock market, which is obviously a good thing when the market goes up, but it's something that we have to try and anticipate and manage if we think the stock market is going to go down. But effectively, the level of gearing isn't Callum and I trying to call the level of the market. The level of gearing is determined by simply the number of stock ideas that we have at the moment. And as I say, we can hold up to 80 securities. Uh, and if we like all of them a lot, then we may borrow money to uh, finance some of those purchases. Income is really important to shareholders, particularly shareholders in, in the UK stock market. And in these quite challenged times, predictability and certainty of income is particularly important. And we at Claver House are proud that we have just put up our dividend for the 50th consecutive year. And the AIC, the Association of Investment Companies, uh, define some investment trusts as dividend heroes, those that have put their dividend up for uh, more than 20 years in succession. Claverhouse not only done that, it has put its dividend up for 50 years in succession. And that, I think, makes it a standout trust. So Callum and I are very proud, as are the board, of the, of the record that we've delivered of dividend growth. But I, I, I guess shareholders are just as concerned, if not more so, about what can the record be going forward. So not only are you getting geographical exposure, you're getting it on the cheap. And that is a real attraction to us of investing in these large blue chip companies, which until very recently have been largely neglected. Paper House appeals to shareholders who are prepared to take a medium to long term view. Uh, I think one of the lessons of the last 12 to 18 months is that the era of get rich quick is well and truly over and just how dangerous uh, that was for investors. This fund is for investors who appreciate the appeal of the merits of slow compounding, investing in quality companies which uh, deliver good, reliable, predictable income and the net effect of that over the medium to long term produces returns which will be satisfactory I think to most shareholders.